so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is piper jasmine and i honestly think this is like the first sit down video i have done ever since i have moved in to athens Ridge. today i'm going to be doing a how i studied for my mcat video i get a lot of questions about my whole study process and what that was like so i'm gonna make a video for you guys um yeah so far i've gotten in i'm in i'm still in this current medical school cycle and i'm still waiting to hear back from some schools but it's currently november 23rd and i've gotten two medical school acceptances so far i'm gonna do a whole separate video on the medical schools i applied to and all of that so make sure that you stay tuned for that yeah if you guys are interested in seeing like how i studied for my mcat because that's probably the most like gruesome thing when it comes to applying to medical school the mcat um, i'm a little sick so that's why i sound like this but i'm getting better and i feel like on camera like my face looks a little what like pale but as you can see when i get close it's not like that it's really just because of the lighting so i could turn the lighting up but so hot in here this might be better so i created a whole little like notes tab so if i'm on my phone that's why i also took some pictures i hope my background is not as messy as it is in my head but we're just gonna get with the program so my first tip is well like the first thing that i did when studying for the mcat i did i was like you guys i was on youtube looking for some study tips and advice videos and i feel like studying for the mcat it's very overwhelming because it's not a like clear-cut thing you know what i mean it's not like you have to do this one thing first and then you do this and then you're gonna get a good score no and it's so much material too it just gets very overwhelming so for me i like to look at youtube videos i literally just like searched up how to study for the mcat just to see how other people did it and then you're kind of able to tailor what other people did to your own needs and go from there i really think the whole mcat studying process it's a very trial and error kind of thing um and when like when you go through it you'll understand like you'll realize that okay i do better like with anki or i do better with you world so it really is a trial and error all you can really do is listen to other people and their experiences and i guess try to use that to help shape your own but I would be very mindful and like just very aware that there's not a clear cut, like there's not a shortcut to it. I did like to take a couple of things like from what this one person did in terms of like studying tricks and hacks and in terms of what this person did and kind of just make it your own, make your own plan that will benefit you at the end. Yeah, so the second thing that I did was I got all of the books, the Kaplan books. I got all of the Kaplan books for free on librarygenesis.com and I'll provide the link below. But those Kaplan books, they were pretty updated as well. I think I used the 20, I either used the 2020 or the 2021 version. I can't remember, but they were literally all free and they were on Library Genesis, every subject. And then they had additional Kaplan books for the MCAT as well that's another thing with determining your books um it just takes like review and looking at what each company offers because there's the princeton review book um you got kaplan um i don't know what the other books are called but i know there are other books i think that i chose kaplan because i think like their reading sections are more concise than the princeton um review because one thing with the mcat is you want to spend less time um doing content review you don't want to spend your entire study period doing content review you want to do most of your study time doing like practice problems and practice exams so i thought that going with the route where things were more concise i would get through the material faster and get through my content review faster and then i also think there was maybe something about the practice questions in kaplan um at the end of the day i did not use the kaplan practice test questions so I'm not really sure what I said really helps with that, but that's what I did. Um, the next thing that I did is I created a study schedule on an Excel sheet. And I'm also going to link this down below because I got this like study template from some girl on YouTube. And when I tell you guys, it really helped me in the beginning. It really helped me. I'm type A. So I have to like just organize everything and plan everything or my anxiety is going to skyrocket 
and I just can't. So I have my laptop with me and I'm going to screen record show you guys what my template looks like. So as I get this set up, I'll just say that like with studying, <clears throat> before I started studying for my MCAT, I took a lot of time researching like the best study methods and like the best tools that I need before I really started studying so I could hit the ground running. So all of this kind of happened before my official um, study time period and I did start studying for my MCAT right after Thanksgiving. I think I started the either the Sunday or Monday after Thanksgiving my junior year. I'm a senior right now. Oh my god, I forgot to give a little background information about me. I'm a senior at the University of Georgia studying health promotion with an emphasis in behavioral medicine and i'm sorry i like suck at technology give me a second okay so i um like i said i found this study template on youtube and like i said i'm going to link the girl in her video in the description box below basically i hers comes with a template and i just completely redid it and did it for like my study schedule and for my MCAT studying plan so as you can see I started on um, the week of the 28th and how I did it is I broke up all of the chapters that were in the Kaplan's book and for each day that I was studying I paired my books based on like my comfortability levels with the material so I did gym chem and bio together because I felt pretty like strong in gym chem and I had general knowledge in bio so I knew when I paired those together I wouldn't be like spending forever reviewing topics since I already felt good in them um, and then for like physics and biochem those are my really weak um, sections and i really didn't realize that in biochem until my first exam but we'll talk about that later but so yeah i did biochem and physics together um i did ochem and psych together because they were really short chapters and like so on so on i made sure to implement a break day each week <clears throat> each week because i think it's very important to give yourself a break i'm not a firm believer that you have to be holed up and studying forever at all so yeah i just alternated my break days i didn't oh yeah and i took saturdays off too and yeah this template was really cool it's really cute it also had a kaplan tracker i did keep up with this um as you guys can see i don't i don't really know what happened like to my template on my computer maybe i accidentally deleted it um let's see where i left off Oh my gosh this is not mine this is the girls but anyways I would come in I would come in here and I would just do like yes and it crosses it out for you and that was just like for days that I might have not finished where I knew where I needed to go back up um, this was the girls schedule from the YouTube channel and that's really all that I used from the template it was really good I liked it it helped me like stay on track and stuff if that's what you need to do so the next thing that i did i already mentioned how i did the anki i tried to finish like the mile sound deck the way that it works it has all of the it correlates with the chapters in the kaplan book so i thought that would be good review for me to do after the chapters now i'm gonna be honest with you guys um because i had started after thanksgiving break which was really hard and studying for the mcat requires a lot of dedication and determination because i won't lie to you guys i definitely got behind on my studying because after thanksgiving i had finals and then it was christmas break and during christmas break i was i did not study like i should i really kind of just gave up because i was like oh my god and I feel like a lot of people actually have those revelations at least people who i've talked to they've had those revelations studying for the mcat because it's just so challenging to want to get up and actually study that material every day and there will be times where you may want to give up and that you just may slack on your studying and stuff but you know if you're for real determined you're gonna hop back on it because it just happens to everyone when you just get burnt out and then it just gets to a point where you realize you know you're just gonna have to push through the burnout yeah, so after i really cannot remember when i finished my content review guys because i ended up being online and like pledging 
my spring semester too so i actually ended up pushing my mcat back like two times i finished my content review in february maybe i think so i can't remember and so after my content review i had planned to do like 25 uworld questions a day and uworld is a separate study tool for studying for the MCAT, it is, um, it provides, questions are very similar to MCAT questions. I think they are one of the best if you aren't using the AAMC um, official prep questions, which I also got, but I really liked UWorld better. Like, I, like, if I just had to recommend what you really needed between the AAMC materials and UWorld, I would say UWorld and like just get the practice exams but you probably don't need the whole bundle from the AAMC. But anyways, my goal was to do 25 questions from UWorld a day, which like also wasn't good and I'm gonna talk about later, and to do 100 Anki cards a day, like 100 new cards, which also wasn't good. Now we're gonna talk about what I did wrong. So one of my biggest mistakes, because I ended up taking the MCAT, I took the MCAT in May, and then I ended up taking it again in July. And I was able to increase my score by 10 points between May and July. And I'm gonna do a whole separate video about how I did that as well. I'm really just sticking to like my initial cat preparation. <laughs> um, so what I first did wrong was I did not take enough practice tests. And like I would always hear people emphasize this and say this in YouTube videos and in forums and stuff. I don't know why I ignored it. I don't know why I thought I was better than these people. But I did not take a single practice test. Like during my entire studying process, I did not take one practice test. Um, I only took a practice ex a practice exam the week of the week before I took my actual MCAT test in May. That's when I said, oh shit, like, I'm not gonna do well on this exam. And it was just too late, like, I couldn't change it or anything, so I just had to, like, suck it up and take it. But I did not take enough practice tests, and that is definitely something that I did the next time I studied. Like I said, I'm gonna talk about that in a separate video. But yeah, I did not take enough practice exams, y'all. I was just like, there's no way that I can just sit here for eight hours and take this exam for fun, like, just to see what I can get. Like, I'm gonna just try it on the actual day anything I would probably recommend that you take a practice exam like every month or every two weeks like you have to take enough practice exams to get comfortable with the exam to understand like what they're asking you to understand what you don't know like practice exams are important uh, I did not do well was my Anki so doing 100 cards a day is not enough you have to do more than 100 Anki cards um, when I took my second exam, I got to the point where I was doing like 700 cards before my exam. <clears throat> and the way that it like also is, there's over 2,000 cards in that deck. So doing 100 cards a day, like realistically, you're just not getting in enough material. You're not retaining enough material because yes, you might be doing 100 new cards, but what about the hundreds of cards that you already reviewed? You still have to review those. Yeah, don't limit yourself like don't do the bare, bare minimum. Doing the bare minimum will hurt you in studying for the MCAT. And that's what I learned my first time around. And while it doesn't seem like the bare minimum, because like it's more than you put in for your average class, like it's really not the bare minimum. But you have to go over and beyond, I feel like, in order to do really well on the exam. And like what the thing with Anki I would say is I didn't really take the time to understand the settings and take the time to understand how to use the application. And I think if I did that, that would have saved me a lot of time and it would have just been more helpful as well. Um, thing is, I didn't place a lot of emphasis on cars. I, um, I think it was more so because like I kind of gave up and that I was kind of just relying on my reading abilities. Um, I scored a 36 on the reading section in the ACT. So I knew that I could read like I do read too so I knew that reading really like should not be a problem with me but when I was doing my URL practice questions and stuff like I was getting every car's section wrong um, and I took my first and like only practice exam before May my May exam I got like a 13% on the car section and I was like what like I didn't take it seriously because I was just like it's just a passage it's not just a passage 
it's not just a passage i did not take my car seriously and like the next time i took my mcat i scored in the 90th percentile i don't underestimate the exam i would say would be another advice um the people who make the mcat y'all they're smart you can't you can't outbeat them and you can't outsmart them so like i said there really is no shortcut for doing well on the exam you just have to like do what you gotta do to ensure your success and yeah those are all of my like initial how i studied for the mcat and what are some mistakes that i made during my excuse me during my time studying for the mcat as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe like i said i'm gonna make a whole nother video about um like how i increased my mcat score by 10 points in two months and like my application process the schools i applied to and all of that good stuff so if you guys are interested in seeing anything like that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time